Right. Ready? Three questions. Question one. Where do you think most of my subscribers have guessed we're going? Oh. America. America. Where you're going. Okay. I think quite a few of them might have guessed that you're going to where you're going. Am I, am I allowed to say where you're going? Not yet. Are you more excited or nervous for us going away? I'm not nervous. Uh, no, a bit of both. More excited than nervous because then you're going as two. Nervous. Where are we actually going? Oh, what am I allowed to say now? Yeah. Am I allowed to say it? You guys have literally waited long enough to find out where I am going and where I'm now going with my brother Matthew, as you'll know from my last video, but what is this mystery destination? And you'll be very glad to hear that you're gonna find out in this video, the mystery destination is gonna be revealed. And so yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along my final week at home, show you the ups and the downs, the good times, the stressful times, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video coming along my last week. I will be dropping some hints along the way and I will see you at the very end of the video to tell you where we are going you know when you've just been waiting for something to happen for so long and now that it's finally happening you can't quite believe it that is literally how i feel right now so the countdown begins it is monday the 4th of april and i'll be on a flight this time next week so as i said i'm just gonna take you along my final seven days at home and at the end of this video i will tell you guys where we are off to minnie what are you doing in the cupboard you found a new place to hide should we close the door <gasps> oh no! Oh, she looked so scared. I won't do that, man, man. Yeah. So I have definitely made the most of my classic holly smoothies over these past seven days. And I want you guys to think about the coconut water. Just pay attention to the coconut water because I'm going to show it to you a couple of times in this video for a reason. Ooh, yay! So and I actually thought this was such a good price because I got like a discount because I found a discount code using Honey and I got two of them to get free postage. These are my contact lenses, which I ordered. It's like Christmas in April. It's April apparently. 100% recyclable bioplastic tube. Okay, it's vegan fresh armpits. I'm very confused as to where this has come from, but thank you to whoever has sent this to me. Nude is the brand. Apply nude under your arm whenever you feel like it. Hi, horsey! We don't have a name for this one. There's two Shetland ponies over there. This one is just munching away on some hay. Emily and I in a walk with Buddy and Java. We used to walk this way all the time, like last year, didn't we? Wait, last year? Last year or something? Oh, hi. We used to walk down here all the time yeah. and the horses they used to have, we literally had names for all of them. Shaggy, Alessandria, Cumulus, Flo. Yeah, Flo. Bye, Hosty. Sounds like you've got cardboard in this thing. There probably is cardboard in this, not gonna lie. Anyway, the rucksack is back. It's just like completely flat right now. This will be filled right up, obviously. But we're just like testing it out again to see how it feels. This is my packing situation. It doesn't actually look like that much. I'm not even taking that box or that stuff over there. I was just organizing this part of my room because it was getting very cluttered and overcrowded. This is my rucksack though. It is the Osprey Fairview Trek 70. It is so well made and all of the pockets are just like perfectly positioned. They're really good sizes. I couldn't recommend it enough. Something else I recommend when you are traveling is to take a padlock with you, a nice durable and sturdy padlock, but we also need a note of caution. If you take anything away from this video, please write down your padlock code. This is my padlock from Australia. I cannot for the life of me remember the code and I don't think you can reset it without knowing the code. Why am I such an idiot? Like genuinely, I don't know what this code is. So, I'm going to sit here twiddling this thing about. I'm going to try and do it systematically, going through the different codes and see if I can work it out. I can safely say that I sat there for no longer than like five minutes trying this to do this. This is going to take ages to go through every code. I feel like I changed it as well when I was away in Australia, just because, you know, I thought that was a good thing to do. But at this point, I am questioning my decisions to change the code 
quite frequently when I was traveling. If you've forgotten the number to your combination lock, it can be really annoying. Today I'm going to show you how to open one of these padlocks without knowing the number. We need to rotate the dial slowly between each digit, and there we go. The combination was 582. It's not mine though, is it? I'm not gonna lie, the video did seem legit. Like, it looked as if it was going to work. However, it didn't work for me. I gave up very soon, as I said, and I just moved on to doing something else. Woo, woo, woo! <laughs> Matthew was looking at this. I was sitting here for like ages, and oh, mom just it. comes in and goes, I think it's this. Double check it again, hold on, but don't, don't, don't tell yeah, the camera. Yeah, double check it. Was I anywhere close to getting the code? Absolutely not. Thank you, mom, but that's just really annoying. We are negative. So I really wanted to pre-film and upload and schedule by Holly G videos whilst I was away. So that was a big task on my to-do list for this week. My voice is so dry by this point. I have done so much filming. I literally just finished filming and taste testing five of the different Misfits bars. Definitely check out my Instagram to watch that reel if you are interested. I am definitely going to film a part two because there are more flavors to try, but I probably won't have time to do that before I go away now. I am listening to the Rich Roll podcast with Earthling Ed. I was listening to that as well on my run this morning. I did hill sprints this morning and normally I need like music to get me pumped, but I was listening to this whole podcast like the whole time. Just seeing me pack here, it is a reminder for me to tell you guys that there will be a full packing video that comes out after this one so i will be showing you guys everything i am taking with me in my backpack on this trip the to do this for tomorrow is so long oh my gosh you guys pretty much can guarantee that where i am going the coconut water is gonna be impeccable i have just been filming again today i finished my biology shorts i need to edit them obviously i am basically filming an episode of holly tries this evening i feel like this video won't already be on my channel so i'm not gonna spill the tea but i am filming holly tries episode this evening yeah you'll find out soon now going away can be a really weird feeling as much as you are so excited to go away, you know that you're leaving behind something that you love so much and that's your home. But this week I've been so busy, I haven't really had time to process it and it all kind of hit me right at the end of the this week. This is what I made yesterday. This actually smells so good. Oh my God. Mm. It's hill time everyone. This weather is so much better than expected. Like at the start of the week, it was like gonna rain for the whole seven days. But look at this sun, which is so good because I'm trying to like take in as much of the British countryside as possible before we go away. These polytunnels are like filled with fruit in the summer. I will probably be back to see it, but like strawberries, raspberries, it always feels so good. So this is the UK countryside. I love it. The place we're going to is going to look so incredibly different to this. Hi cows! How are you doing? Hi horses! Bye horses! Imagine if there was an actual person listening to me. About to be prickled. Ah! Oh my god. Today, this is what we're walking through. Ow, stung, ow, under the thing. 11 kilometers done, not really fast, not really slow, just kind of average pace, taking the scenery really. Yesterday evening, I was so tired. Like I was just completely knocked out mentally because of the video I filmed the other day, the last episode of Holly Tries in the UK. I don't know, my alarm went off at seven stupidly, but then I woke up again at like, 10 was out of bed at 10 30 so i was sleeping during park run today my pile of stuff that i still need to pack and sort out is growing like most of my stuff is packed and everything but i keep putting more things aside and therefore adding extra stuff and extra weight to my luggage which is not ideal um i just need to sort this stuff out really hopefully today but i still have so much to do and later on that day when i was struggling to find the time to fit everything in i was regressing that lie in but you know what? Sometimes your body needs it and this video I filmed, it seriously took it out of me, mentally especially, as you will definitely find out. But what was really important for us to do was to sit down so myself, Matthew and mum joined us so that we could all go through the itinerary and make sure everything was roughly okay and in place.
this is like my favorite walk at the moment and i like to run in here as well obviously but i'm so good at covering up stress especially when i don't want to be stressed like i don't want to feel stressed right now but yesterday was the first day i kind of felt nervous about going away traveling and that brought out like the stress it kind of revealed the stress that had been building in the background but i just thought i would say you know things are not always as they seem i really don't like myself when i'm stressed i actually hate the person i become so i've come on a walk now um just to kind of clear my head i can't even admit to myself that i'm stressed and as i said at the start like i don't want to be stressed but yeah it is a very nice saturday evening with this sunset behind me For context, it is 3 p.m. and it is Sunday the 10th of April. Tomorrow, Matthew and I leave, we get our flight and we will be on our way. I am so excited. Yes, I'm still in like overdrive mode, organizational mode, thinking about everything that could go wrong mode, but I am just so ready for this adventure. I am so excited and yeah i think you guys are now ready to find out where we're going so this place has been on my bucket list for a very long time and it has always just been a name like i haven't known anything about this place i've just always wanted to visit and travel there because yeah there's just been something special about this name and i am just so excited to see my vision and my plan come to life it is a place that i hope will have endless supplies of mangoes coconut water incredible scenery wildlife beautiful oceans i am so ready to take you guys along this adventure with myself and matthew we are going drum roll a little drum roll where are we actually going oh what am i allowed to say now yeah we are going to thailand that is the first time i've said it on camera and it sounds so strange to say it out loud to you guys thailand <laughs> yay <laughs> i've never been <laughs> mum will be there next time thailand is the secret destination we are going there for a month four weeks and i have planned this itinerary for quite a long time now I was originally gonna go solo, as you guys know, for Holy Ghost Solo, but it is now Holy Ghost Duo with Matthew coming with me. I literally cannot put into words how excited I am. I need some better vocabulary at this point. We haven't actually booked that much, but I have the full itinerary. We are gonna live our best lives as backpackers. See if we find anything out about ourselves, each other. It's gonna be so fun to have Matthew there with me. And I feel like our relationship will grow and develop a lot. We became really close like a couple of years ago when we used to go to the gym together and stuff, but obviously COVID hit and everything changed and we didn't go to the gym anymore, but we got really close and we have stayed pretty close, but like this is gonna be a trip where it's just the two of us. Obviously we'll meet other people, but it's just gonna be myself and Matthew. We have spoken about this because we've had it before. Like sometimes people think that we're not siblings. They think we're a couple, which is really weird. I don't know if Matthew and I look more alike than say myself and Emily. I don't really know. Like obviously he's blonde, I'm brunette, but do we look really alike? I feel like most people should see the resemblance, even though sometimes I can't see it. But I mean, in some photos, we look really similar. I'm not gonna shove a camera in his face. I'm just gonna see if he opens up to the camera a bit more as we go about our travels. And in line with this still being like a weekly vlog, I will answer a couple of random questions that I saw on my last video. One of you guys asked, during choosing your destination, did you consider how easy slash hard it would be there to be vegan? And the answer to this is yes and no. So I have always known that Thailand is incredible for like vegan food and the fruit and I'm salivating literally already thinking about it. But like, I don't make that a priority. Like if somewhere looks incredible and I really want to travel there, then I will go regardless of whether it has a good vegan scene or not. So for example, I have always wanted to go to Japan and if COVID were not a thing and the borders were open in Japan, I probably would have been going to Japan on this trip because I've always wanted to go there. But Japan, for example, like I don't actually think it's that good for vegans apparently, which is kind of surprising, but I still want to go there and I'm not gonna not go there just because it's not like really easy to be vegan in the country. I don't think I have anything else to say at this point other than I hope you guys are excited to follow along definitely give this video a thumbs up if you are and you liked this video comment down below if you have any other questions 
and obviously throughout this series feel free to send in questions because I've decided to make my planning video and talk about how I planned this whole trip maybe as we're going or like at the end of it because to be honest with you, I don't really have the time to film and edit that video before we go. But basically, just to keep you guys in the loop, there will be a packing video coming. There is actually the final episode of Holly Tries before I leave for this trip that will come out very soon. And then we will officially start the Thailand adventures. So that is a great place for me to say subscribe if you are not already subscribed and you want to follow along. Hit the bell so you know when I upload. And yeah, as always, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Bye! So excited to go to Thailand. It's still squeaking. We're gonna start doing PCR tests. No, this is not a PCR test. Crazy! <laughs> so this one is going to be Indonesia. This one is going to be Thailand. Which one are we going to, Java? Thailand over here or Indonesia over there? Pick one, Java. Have it. Have it. <laughs> she got it right. Oh, and then she wants the other one as well. Bali, are we going? No, 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 no. She ate Indonesia first. <laughs> oh, Bali! Yes, Jimmy, you got it right. Do you want to try and do it again? Is it Indonesia or Thailand? Bali, have it. She definitely thinks we're going to Indonesia. Where do you think most of my subscribers have guessed we're going? Thailand. <laughs> Wait, we need to do it again. I should have said you. Please don't say the actual destination. Right, okay. Right, question number one. Who remembers this music from Australia? Honestly, it makes me so emotional and I feel like we need to bring it back for the next big travel adventure.